Thank mm -hmm. you for the hug. Mark oh, wouldn't give me a hug. When he just shook my hand. <laughs> I know. He's so a little shy. Friends. We are still friends. That's good. That's good. So I'm noticing your tie, Cherry Creek Theater. I love it. You guys are the founders of Cherry Creek Theater. So co talk a little co-founders, of course. Talk a little bit about Cherry Creek Theater. Well, Cherry Creek Theater is starting our eighth season yep. uh, in February, and um, we started the theater seven years ago now. It uh, originally was an idea of Maxine's. We uh, live in Cherry Creek. We realized that there are theaters are not existent in Cherry Creek. Yep. We decided to found one. Um, I think had we known then or known na now, what we, if we known then what we know now, we probably wouldn't have done it. There's an <laughs> awful lot of work involved, but it's fun. We enjoy yes. it. Yes. Yeah. But produces great work. Yes. You know, all, and you guys have a show coming up in November, correct? Talk Our about show that. will be Bo Jest. Bo Jest. Yeah. And for six years, we were at the um, Shaver Ramsey Rug Gallery. Mm -hmm. And it was wonderful there, except we had to tear down the set every single night. Oh, every time we did it. And so, we did that 214 times. You know to the number. Yes, yeah. indeed. <laughs> and there was never a hitch. It was unbelievable yeah. how it happened. And now we're at the... Um, Myzel Art Center. Yep. And they're wonderful there, and we're just really happy there. And we loved our six years, mm -hmm. and we're just five minutes from where we were. Oh, so. fantastic. So, talk a little bit more about Bo's Bo Jest. Um, what is the show like? Bo Jest is um, an interesting comedy. Mm -hmm. in, in Bo Jest, Sarah is a nice little Jewish girl from a nice little Jewish family, and her nice little Jewish family <laughs> wants to meet her nice little Jewish boyfriend. <laughs> However, Sarah is dating a fellow by the name of Chris Kringle. So you might gather Chris Kringle is not exactly the Jewish boy that the family was expecting. Yeah. So what does Sarah do? She goes out and hires an actor who uh, has had some experience in that he was in uh, Fiddler on the Roof. Um. So he, he qualifies as being Jewish. Perfect. And uh, anyway, they come to dinner and all sorts of wonderful things happen, very funny things. Yeah. And it has a little Christmas theme, holiday theme in there, slightly with the Christmas. No, not no. at all. No, not really. Not we'll really. pretend like I didn't say no, that. No, you didn't say that. Perfect. And your next season, starting soon, can we talk at all about that? Yes. Well, sure. actually, we've just put it together. So yeah. this would be the first reveal. The reveal. We're revealing the, reveal. the season right That's here. Right. That's right. All right, what do we got going on? Well, our first show is going to be a musical. <gasps> it's called Respect. Okay. And um, it's been really all around the country. It's actually going to be on off-Broadway in October, okay. and it's about the music. Yeah, it's about actually women's roles as portrayed by top 40 music, or music over the decades. Okay. It's a wonderful play. It's a, it has a message, and it also is very entertaining. Yeah. And it's just been updated, and the author happens to be a really good friend of ours, and hopefully we'll be able to get her out here and do some special yeah. interviews. Yeah, really cool. She can come on your show? Yes, we'd love to have her. <laughs> All right, so after respect, uh, We have a, a play called A Picasso. A Picasso. Yes, A Picasso is an interesting play in that Picasso, during wartime, is called to authenticate some of his paintings. OK. And how he goes about it and what he says and what he does says a lot about Picasso. So it's it's it's. It has a, another powerful message. Yeah. And our last show is um, My Name is Asher Lev. And I just, that was one of my favorite books in the world. Yeah. And when I saw that it opened off Broadway, I was just so excited. And we tried for years and years to get the rights, and we couldn't, so we finally did. So I'm very excited very well. about that show. How do you guys put together a season? <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> we, um, we probably, Maxine and I probably see well, 50 to 60 plays a year. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a play reading committee that also sees plays. We have a, a wonderfully supportive audience that is constantly referring <laughs> plays to us. So that what we do, uh, in addition to having plays from our artistic producer, we look at all of those plays, read them all, and then try to put together a season that reflects our space, our audience, and it has a mix of perhaps music, drama, comedy, Perhaps a new player or two, yeah. uh, but it, it's, it's not an easy process. No. I think that's the hardest part about getting the right shows, because we really like shows that entertain, but that also have some real meat. I mean, our last mm -hmm. show, I just personally love, we did Baby Dance, yeah. and it was a really interesting drama because it was 
no easy answers. And I met people in the street afterwards and said, I'm still thinking about that yeah. play. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I love that show. And we had Big Robert Michael Sanders with yes. us. That's tonight. right. Yes. So, yeah. Yes. Perfect. And so you guys are not just theater founders. You guys are... Oh, we do everything. Yeah. I mean, he would fix the toilets and shave a Ramsey. And there's nothing that we don't do. So talk about, you also work with another um, institute here in town. Oh, yes. yes. I've also I've just been appointed to the board of the Denver Film Society. Yeah. And that's, truthfully, next to our theater, my favorite institution. And Mark and I happen, and the Cherry Creek Theater sponsor something called National Theater Live. Yep. And that's theater that's um, done at the National Theater in London, and they tape it live, like the Met tapings, and then they broadcast it. And it's broadcast all over the world. And we were lucky enough, we were in London um, a few months ago, and we met with the people yeah. from National Theater Live, and we learned some things we, that we didn't realize. Before they actually do the taping, they have two rehearsals with the whole cast. Yeah. And I was shocked at that. And they said the reason they do that, because actors are not used to having to look where a camera is. Yeah. So they want them to feel comfortable with the situation. And then the audience comes in when they actually do the taping. And I think they have cameras all over in different angles. It's fabulous. It's like getting front row seats at every performance. <laughs> yes. And also, one other thing, they, because it's a national theater, if the show does really well, like when they did um, Hamlet, mm -hmm. you know, come in. Benedict yeah. They will actually pay the actors additional money. Oh, and fantastic. Divide That's always good money. when actors get paid. Yeah. Isn't that oh, nice? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we love that. That's perfect. That's one thing nice about our theater, too. We've had extraordinary community support. Yes. And because of that, we've been able to hire equity actors mm -hmm. for all of our productions. That's At least fantastic. one equity actor, and, and one play we had as many as. I think it was five equity wow. actors. And for a small theater our size, that's it's it's unheard of. Yeah. Yeah, it's unheard of. Yeah. And it's basically due to the support that we have from our community. So we do a variety of shows, but I can say everything I feel we do is of the highest quality. Yeah. And people, that's one thing they comment on. Because when we first started the theater, we sent a questionnaire. Being academics, that's mm -hmm. our profession, um, we sent questionnaires. And we got about 250 responses. And all of them said, we'll support you, but we want one thing. We want quality. Yeah. And then only one person said, well, make sure you don't compete with the Denver Center. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we said, okay, I think we can Perfect. handle that. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on tonight. We really appreciated it.